Hi guys, Luke from Team Shift here with Carl. What have we got today? We've got a couple uh, punk sword sword combos for you, utilizing Halka Fibrax and also showing you ways that you can now use um, Shooting Rise of Dragon to get Token Collector for the mirror. So for our first combo, all you're going to need is uh, emergency teleport or any way to make Halka Fibrax without using your normal summon, um, plus a worm in hand. So to start with, we're going to be using the teleport. To summon Zay Armin. So this is one of the new punk cards, and what it does is pay six to search for any other punk monster. And you use this to search for Foxy Tune. This one gets rid of itself and another card from our hand to summon out another punk from deck. We're gonna use this to summon Madam Spider. Just gonna move those down there. Madam Spider pays 600 to search for any punk trap. So we're gonna use this one, which is sort of an imperm, gives us an extra interruption. After that, we're going to be putting these two into our Halka Fibrax. And we're gonna be using that to summon out Despot. Uh, many people have seen this from other combo videos. And we're then gonna be using those to summon Phantom Beast, Auroradon, giving us three tokens and bringing the Despot back. After that, we're going to be using the tokens and the Despot to summon out Yazi, and using the Auroradon to uh, pop the Yazi off. This time, however, Unlike the others, we're going to be summoning out Moye. Moye is going to reveal the worm that we have to have in hand for this, giving us a Sword Soul token. From here, we're going to be using these to summon out Chi And then we're going to go uh, chunk one Chi to Moye, giving us a draw and allowing us to search for Emergence this time around. With the Emergence, we're going to be grabbing out Taie. We're going to be normal summoning this. We're going to use this to banish the Emergence to summon us a token, and we're going to use the Emergence's effect to make Taiyai a level 5. With the level 3 Aurorodon token and the level 4 Tuna Sword Soul token, we're going to be using those to summon out Shooting Riser Dragon, and using the effect of this to send the token collector. After that, we now have a level 3 Shooting Riser and a level 5 Taiyai. We're going to be using those to summon out Berserker, and we get the tie effect to send an Ashuna for next turn, or if we have an extra extender, we can also use that this turn. So for combo number two, you're going to need Emergency Teleport and Emergence. Obviously, um, I'm not going to show you the combo to get to Aurora done again, you should be pretty familiar with that. Um, obviously, Italy will get you there with another discard, and we'll also add the trap to your hand. So I'll just put that over there. So, from this point, we're going to be turning these into a Yazi again. So we're going to use the Aurodon again to destroy the Yazi, to summon us out the Moye and reveal the Emergence. It's going to give us the token. I'm just going to leave this here to remind us that's level 3. We're going to use the Emergence to add us a tire. I'm going to normal summon that, and we're going to banish the Emergence immediately. It's important that you have to keep these on, on field, because um, you'll need the token for later. Anyway. Uh, with the Emergence, we're going to make this a level 5, and then after that we're going to use our two tokens once more to summon out the Shooting Riser and send us the Token Collector. We're going to use a level 5 and the 3 again, summoning out a Vaxia, and Tyar is going to dump us an Ashuna. We're going to use the Ashuna to summon out an Adhara, and we're going to use both of these to make a Chaffing. After that, we're then going to use the Adhara to add us back the Ashuna before synchroing these both into a Chi Zhao, giving us Chenink 1, Chenink 2. Um, just give us a draw there and adding us a Long Yon. And after that, we're going to be able to use Long Yon pitching this, giving us a token and making the new level 10 here. So this one's more of a combo for Phantom Knight. Once again, we're going to be using the Emergency Teleport and the Emergence. And again, I've just put out the uh, Phantom Beast to save time. So using the E-Tele gets you this far. And then from there, we're going to be using Despot and these two to summon out Yazi once more. However, this time, we're going to be using the Emergence first, grabbing us a Tire, which we're then going to Normal Summon and use the uh, Banish the Emergence to give us a token. However, this time we're going to be using the Emergence to boost our Yazi's level up 
to a level 8. With that, we're going to be using these to summon out a Qi Zhao with Chenlink 1 and Chenlink 2 of the tire, dumping us an Ashuna and then adding us a Long Yan. After that, we're going to be using the Ashuna to summon out Adhara. And then with the level 1 Adhara and the level 8 Yazi, I'm going to be making a Chao Feng, which is going to stop dark effects. So no DP effects, no Phantom Knight effects, etc. Um, and then after that, we still have the Phantom Beast token left, so we can use the Adhara to add back the Ashuna. And then we can get rid of both of these, obviously summoning the token, and summoning the new level 10. You can also instead grab the Blackout with uh, the Qi Zhao there and use it to destroy the Yang Zing to get us an extra search for a, uh, either a Tuna or, sorry, for an Ash or an Ogre or even an Ecclesia like that for follow up. So for this combo, it's going to be a four card combo. However, um, uh, some of the cards can be a bunch of other cards. So for example, Itali can be this or Zayamin. Um, you do need Vessel, uh, you need any Tenyi and any Worm. Um, so, to get things started, we're going to start by special summoning our Tenyi. And we're going to make Monk. We're then going to use Vessel to dump uh, Tire, uh, sorry, Long One, and add us an Ashuna. Then, we're going to be special summoning the Ashuna and then activating Itali. It's going to summon out Zayamin. And with Zayamin, we're going to be adding our Madam Spider. Now, we're going to be synchroing both of these into a Baron to protect the rest of our combo. For normal summoning Spider and using her effect to add us the trap. After that, we're going to be putting both of these into our Halka Fibrex, summoning out Despot, and going back into Auroradon. We're going to be summoning out our tokens and bringing back the despot again. Pretty standard stuff here, however. Then into the Yazi, and we're gonna be using Roradon to get rid of that, and Yazi to bring us out a tire. With the tire now, we're gonna be using that to banish the Longyon, which we're gonna be using later on. Give us another token. And from there, we're gonna put those two into our Baxia, using the tire to dump the Moye. We're then going to be using Baxia to destroy the last token that we have left to bring back the Moye. And Moye is going to reveal us the worm that we still have in our hand. Give us back this token. From there, we're then going to use the Ashuna that we put in there earlier. Banish that to summon out the Adhara. And then we're going to be synchroing these two off into a Chao Feng. We're going to use that in the extra monster zone because we're going to need some of the zones later on. From there, we're going to use the Adhara to add back the long one that we'd banished earlier. And with these two, we're going to pitch that, summon them out, synchro these into our new level 10, the new long yon. We're going to use the burn effect of the other long yon. And then from here, we're going to be synchroing these into our Qi Zhao. And then it's going to be chaining one Qi Zhao to search, uh, two this guy to draw, and three the Moye to draw. So we get our two draws, and then we're going to be searching Blackout. So this is going to give us uh, seven interruptions, ignoring the other cards in hand, um, just from the cards that we've searched. So it'd be the one negate from Baron. This will give us two banishes. We'll have a negate from this. Blackout will give us a pop with the Chao Feng, um, which will then search us another hand trap or plays for next turn. And then we also have the Gabu for another negate as well.